What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. I'm Khan and I'm super excited today because we got a sneak peek at the factory expansion. I'm going to go through it with you guys as I did on stream earlier. As always, my stream link is down below and I have a giveaway going right now. You need to be following my Twitch to be entered for a full free Edge of Darkness account that I'm going to give to one of you guys when I hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Regardless, we're going to go through this video. There's a lot of super cool stuff in this. And me and my friend Grasshopper, we went through this video together and we actually came up with like a solid idea of what the map is actually going to look like so i'll play the video first and then i'm going to go through it frame by frame and show you guys what we came up with and what we think the new factory expansion is going to look like so let's get right into it so sick fucking gavolda boom so there you have it so that's all there is. 20 second teaser that they sent us. And that's uh, that's awesome. Thank you BSG for showing us that. That's super fucking cool. Uh, it must mean. So to start off. This must mean that the map is done. Uh, it's got to be finished. And meaning it's probably coming sometime next week. Hopefully with a wipe. I think it will be coming with a wipe. So we'll have to wait and see for that. I have other videos talking about why I think it's a wipe. We're not going to get into that here. But we're going to show you guys frame by frame what I think the map is going to look like. So let's start with the first frame. So this, I think this is a brand new area. So for the first two shots, it shows you, not only do I think this is a brand new area, I know this is a brand new area because of a later shot that they show. So basically, the first two shots is this same area moving from left to right. One of them is a little bit higher and one of them is a little bit lower. So. They go from left to right and they pan right here. This is all brand new and this is a brand new area of the map. So, we're looking at it from up above now. I personally think over here to the right, that is going to be the lab's entrance once. There might not, it might not be, but I personally think because of the lab signs and because it goes into a gate, also to an area, it might have stairs that go down or something like that, but I think that is the lab's entrance once Streets is involved in the game. Uh, I think right over here, that's going to be the lab's entrance. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to this big hanging like water tank. That and this water tank over here. The reason why, this is why I know that this is a new area, because in the next shot you'll see the area that we haven't seen before. And this water tank is a telltale sign that this is completely adjacent to the gate zero side of the map. So over here in the back left is where the forklift and that little back area where like you can sometimes get like four men spawn in the back. Uh, it's like the area where a bunch of players will spawn. There's a forklift there, two jackets. Uh, you go down to get to the extract down there. And then there's also like the control panel and the hallway to the, to the left side. So the hallway to the left side is adjacent to this part here. So if you were to go through this wall on that side, it's... Uh, it's gate zero and then at the back of that it's gate three and then the hallway is pretty much parallel to this room that hallway where you fix the uh, control panel and I'll show you guys why I think that well why I know that so this shot here so this is why so in this shot here go back a little bit so we know this area we know this in this shot here, this is that little area that you can get into with the, uh, there's a key that gets in there, but this is like the open area. Gate 3 is on the right over here. I don't know what my, way my camera's looking, but gate 3 is where my mouse is over here. Uh, the office is up this way. And this little doorway here is to like normal factory. All this area here is, is original factory. So over here, there's that... Uh, container the the two garbage dumpsters that have that little corner that sometimes people like to sit or scavs like to sit there so all of this over here is uh, old factory now this area right here you we know that that's a new area because there isn't anything ever been there before above us there's a hole in the wall where the railings go through that's original factory as well and the reason why i know that this is the area that they showed in the first uh two shots is because of the water tanks that are right here and then this big hanging water tank you can also see that there is a uh, scaffolding that goes across I'm sure there's probably a hole there that gets over into the other side as well but as you can see they mainly took that area and 
created another area adjacent to it on the other side, which I assumed was what they were going to do anyways, and I think they talked about it in a podcast. But you can basically see that this water tank is in the original shot, and so are these two water tanks. So this is the whole new area that they showed in the original spot. So there's the water tank again. If we go back, water tank, water tank there. And then you see them from this angle as well. The water tank that's hanging and then the two water tanks. So this is going to be a brand new area. And it looks great. Now right here where Cavalda is, you can actually see that this is the same area as the offices. So we, we knew that he was going to be around the office. But I suppose they're adding a little underground part underneath the office because this looks like it goes in from the shower area. So I assume there's a hole or a couple ways to get down into the shower, and that's where Cavalda kind of chills. He'll probably be roaming completely around the office, but I also have a theory about Cavalda, which might not be true, but it would be really cool if BSG had implemented it. But let's watch the rest. This is definitely underneath offices. This is also a new area, and it's 100% underneath offices. You can just tell because of the showers. Now I want to take a look at Cavalda himself. Now Cavalda, he looks like he's wearing an armored rig and some form of helmet that we haven't seen. On his back, it looks like a Sega 12 gauge shotgun. So he looks like he's brought, it's hard because they made it kind of pixelated, but it looks like he's wearing a Sega 12 gauge shotgun with some form of new Tactical rig, it could be an AACPC, it's hard to see, but it looks like a brand new rig. Uh, and he looks fucking sweet, he looks like a savage, I'm really getting like horror vibes from this. He looks like something out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's gonna be sweet. But, what's interesting is the fact that he's hitting the body on the ground. Now, I want to talk about this as well, this is just a theory that I have. Um, but let's watch it in slow motion. So it looks like a Sega 12 on his back. Boom. So he hits him in the head. So I have this weird theory that Kovalda, I'm not sure how exactly he's going to work, but he's definitely going to have guards because if he's hitting people with a hammer, I just don't think it's he's going to be way too easy unless he has a bunch of guards. So I have this weird theory that he's going to be like hiding around corners or they're going to make his AI play very aggressively where he'll run at you and hit you with the sledgehammer. Uh, but the fact that he's like hitting this body, I don't know if maybe his AI is going to smash bodies around the map. Like once he's killed you, he'll sit there and bang your head in a couple times. And that's going to be like a telltale sign that he's in the map. Kind of like, uh, like Sturman's SVD racks off a couple times in the map and you know oh that's definitely Sturman bang 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 crack 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 you hear the SVD you know it's Sturman it's gonna be something similar like that with this hammer I feel like but I have a theory and maybe it's a theory but it, it, it's probably not true but it would be super cool if Cavalda had an animation we already know that BSG wants to put knockdowns into the game and maybe secretly they have been working on this in the past potentially what we could see with Cavalda is maybe he gets to you and he hits you down and then he hits you in the head and kills you potentially you might we might get our first glimp, glimpse of being knocked down in Tarkov this is total speculation it might not be true and it probably isn't true but how cool would it be if Cavalda runs up to you, you, he gets knocked down, and you see him from first, you get knocked down, and he, you see him from first person swing his hammer down to, to headshot you, and then you die. Obviously, if your friend shoots him or whatever, you stand back up. I don't think it would take that much for them to implement just a new animation for you falling over. They already have falling over animations for when you die, so just a little bit of speculation that would be cool if that was a way that he kills you he knocks you down first and you see him hit the hammer and your teammate has a, a couple moments to shoot him to cancel the animation or whatever it might be uh that would be really cool probably not going to be in it but this hammer animation where he's smacking the body is really interesting because i wonder how it will work in gameplay we can see that this isn't pre-rendered this is in game they're using a floaty cam to go around the map so this looks like it's going to be how cavalda is going to act in raid so why does he hit bodies is he just going to be hitting bodies over and over again and smashing bodies in the head for like a fear thing or just like an animation thing and that's how you find him you find him hitting 
bodies or could it have some sort of uh, gameplay mechanic? Let me know in the comments below. I'm probably fucking wrong, but it'd be it's a cool theory. And you know, if if they, if they did put that in, where like if he gets to you, he knocks you down first, and then he hits you in the head with a hammer, and you see it happen, that would be super fucking cool. Uh, as always, I stream on Twitch. All my links are down below. Awesome stream today. Awesome stream every day. Um, and I'll see you guys over on Twitch. Make sure to check out the giveaway down below, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace, people.